Hey there, it's Rosie, and in this video, I am making cheesy broccoli chicken and rice. I think you're going to love this one, so let's get started. I have some vegetable oil that I'm going to pour into my pan, or actually this is my skillet. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's add our chicken in at this time, and my heat is on medium high, by the way. I'm going to start sprinkling in my favorite all-purpose seasoning, and that can be a salt-free seasoning or a seasoning salt. And I'm also going to sprinkle in a little bit of ground black pepper. Let's throw in our diced onion. And now we're going to cook the chicken until it is done completely. Let's add in our frozen broccoli, but if you're not a fan of frozen broccoli and you want to use fresh, you can definitely do that. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up before exiting the video. I would really appreciate that. And my next step will be adding in my rice. Now I did cook this rice in my rice cooker, but if you want to use minute rice, I don't think it's going to hurt this recipe a bit. Now I'm going to start adding in my cream of mushroom, but cream of celery and cream of chicken work just as well. I'm going to stir everything, making sure this is well combined and well incorporated. And my next step will be adding in some cheese. Now I am a fan of sharp cheddar cheese, so that's what I'm going to start adding. If you want to use different cheese and a combination of cheeses, that will work as well. We're going to make sure everything's well combined, and then we're going to transfer it into a casserole dish or a different baked dish. Make sure it is nicely greased. And we're going to top this casserole off with some cheese. So shred that cheese on top, and you can be as heavy or as light as you want with the cheese. And I want to add some more color, so I'm going to sprinkle on my paprika, and you know I like smoked paprika, and some parsley flakes as well. I'm going to leave this uncovered, and now I'm going to place it in my oven on 375 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. When your dish is done, you are going to have the most amazing casserole ever. And as always, you can find the exact measurements on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. I will also leave a link in the description box so you can just click and land on the recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe.